wanted to head over to the A and find out for ourselves what's good with soccer in the Dirty South. Looking for a unique and fresh perspective, we caught up with influential people in the worlds of sneakers, art, fashion, and music to get their take on the game, the city, and the impact they are both having on each other. All right, so we're here in the heart of Atlanta in Little Five Points. We're about to go check out one of the staples here, Wish, an iconic sneaker shop that has been pushing the culture for years. What's good, man? How are you? How you doing? Welcome. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, definitely. Glad to be here. Yeah, for sure. Up. So yeah. speak to us a little bit about what you do at Wish. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. So I'm the buyer here at Wish. Uh, I've been here for a little over five years, and I first started out just as a sales associate. So I was still going to school, and this was like my part-time like job, which it was an amazing part-time job because I love sneakers and all the brands that we carried at the time. And I knew it was something that I wanted to be a part of it. And um, just kind of grew within the company and graduated and worked my way up. And then from that, I um, started interning and doing marketing for the store. And then soon after, I became the buyer. And we're such a small team that I'm a, I've been able to kind of be hands-on with some uh, creative projects. So kind of help lead design some Adidas projects that we've done and some Vans projects. And uh, yeah, just kind of learn how to just kind of bring the vibe and bring the culture here to Atlanta. But you, your position as a buyer, you see the brands clue you guys into the trends early. Right. So when was the first time you saw, like I call them soccer lifestyle mashup? And you were like, oh, whoa, soccer's coming. Yeah. We can get that in our yeah, store. Yeah, like what, totally. what, what do you, do you remember when yeah. the first one you saw? I you do, like, I kind of saw it more um, prominent on the Nike side when I went to visit with them and I saw um, a fuse when I was just like the the Magista, yeah. And I the first trip that I took to see that that shoe for the first time, and I saw it not on a cleat. I'm like, okay, something's happening here. And then I was like, immediately, I was like, this is exciting. I was like, the next five, ten years, like soccer is gonna take over, right? So seeing that was just like, all right, there's something special here. And now the brands are understanding that it's more than just the sport. It's now a lifestyle. Next. Keeping it in the lane of sneakers and fashion, we hopped on the Marta and linked up with our homie Mo Harrison, a former NCAA Division I player, Final Four champ, and streetwear boutique owner in the A. We got his perspective on what's happening with soccer in the streets of Atlanta and where he thinks it can go from here. Yo, Mo, what's good, man? Long time no see. Long time no man. see, dude. Yeah. yeah. Where are we? What is this? Place? Yeah, so this is Five Points. This is Marta right across the street. Yeah. Uh, very popular area. The block we're on right now, which is underground, uh, very notorious. Two years ago, three years ago, uh, Trinidad James, the rapper, had a store called Ginza, which is oh, a nice right. hub in Atlanta. It's a very nice. popular store. Nice. So at this Martyr station, they did something really dope yep. over here. Uh, so Atlanta FC and the city partnered, and they put a soccer field. What do you think about that? I think it's just dope, just putting it within the inner city, just allowing getting more exposure to the game, um, giving us better resources so we don't have to venture out, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes outside the city. Just keep it directly in the heart of Atlanta. What do you think it's going to do for the kid in this area? Definitely, I would definitely say um, the minority you see is fueled here. Um, so I think it's going to shed more light on the game on a domestic level. Just having kids to walk by, see the field, just get sparks that interest. So maybe you can be on that poster board just like Amaran. Tell us a little bit about your journey coming from a place that soccer wasn't the thing. Right, right. So I'm from Jackson, capital of Mississippi. Yeah. I think demographic is probably like 95% African-American. Yeah. So um, the interest wasn't there in soccer. You know, we had football from Mississippi State, Ole Miss. We had uh, basketball from Monte Ellis to Mo Williams. So these are guys that I grew up with. At the age of three, we started, um, developed a little bit around six or seven. Had my dad coaching my brother and my team. Uh, it was a pretty fun situation. We were the predominantly only black team in the country for like five years, and we crushed it. You know, my club, the 88s, we got to number nine in the country. My brother, I think they got to number three. Um, went to Callaway High School. I graduated, got an opportunity to go to Cincinnati, full scholarship. Hey. Shout out to the Bearcats too, man. Is that a championship ring? Yeah, 2006, what? man. Yeah, yeah. So I went so to from Jackson to college, D1, yep. Yep. to MLS. Exactly. That, hey, that's a, that's a great story. Exactly. So let's exactly. talk about the fashion side of it. Okay. You kind of have a hand in that right now. Oh. So yeah, fashion is something I've always been interested in. From sneakers, you know, being a customizer, to selling like apparel, just, you know, 
transfer, he transferred sublimation shirts that I would make younger um, to have an opportunity to actually have a, and own a store. Yeah. So we did this. You know, I knew all the owners and the managers around from Wish to Walters to Social Status. So being and having the opportunity to open my own store in Atlanta was, you know, definitely, definitely uh, a good experience for me. I feel that now where I'm at with my career, having that niche, which would be streetwear, um, I'm able to merge it in a subculture, which is the soccer, and just really getting an or, or, organic, authentic feel to what I feel is hot on the streets.